Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Welcome. This is Hill. Today we're doing something a bit different. I am uh, evaluating one of the uh, Wabajack mods that uh, you know I would consider using uh, for my playthroughs. And today I'm looking at Nordic Souls. So we're here in White Run, and um, you can see that it's gotten a little bit of a makeover here with these uh, carvings and whatnot. These archways. Uh, it's very nice. The NPCs have gotten a bit of a makeover as well. Um, you know, as have a lot of the, the other cities. So I'm just going to uh, go over what Nordic Souls is about. And what I have here is that uh, it's not a vanilla plus game. Every aspect of the game has been touched in some way, from leveling to loot. It is still recognizably Skyrim. You are still playing Skyrim, but you're obviously playing a modified version of the game. It is modernized and streamlined to match modern standards. I don't even know what to say. With inspirations from Dark Souls, Elden Ring, and The Witcher series. This list is not trying to turn Skyrim into any of those other games. So Nordic Souls uses both Simon Rim and Delta Rim suites of mods, what among a few others. Oh, For every crazy, other mod, by a crazy um, you should familiarize yourself with their systems. So we'll look at some of the, um, I guess, major mods that are in here. We have the open world loot, which is an encounter zone overhaul that focuses on open world experience and freedom. Aetherius, a complete overhaul of Skyrim's human, elf, and beast races designed to balance the game's races and add powerful new gameplay options. And we have the Perk Tree overhaul called Adamant. It's a complete overhaul designed to balance existing skills and add new powerful perks to the game. And let's just take a look at Adamant. Here we are, and we don't have those sprawling, expansive uh, perk trees like uh, Ordinator and uh, Vulcanator. I mean, this is uh, pretty simplistic, and uh, I like that about the mod. And you know, that's um, definitely a plus for this mod pack. So again, we are here looking at the adamant perk tree overhaul and um you know just to take a look at some of the things here so what this focuses on is uh i guess using less magicka some of the perks here so right now i have 25 uh i believe it's conjuration spells are, are now using 25 less magicka and we have bound weapons they last five times longer and bound weapons have a chance to deal fire, frost, or shock damage. So this is a little bit different from uh, the vanilla. And uh, just look at the destruction tree. Again, this is um, reducing the cost of the magicka. This is our, our dual casting, which uh, will cost 25% less. Uh, we have frost here that does 25% more damage. So again, a little bit different from the Vanilla or um, Ordinator for that matter. All right, and uh, as we proceed up the steps here to Dragon's Reach, uh, there's also Hand to Hand, which is a add-on for Adamant so that you can um, do Hand to Hand combat. I guess you don't really need to be a Khajiit, but it allows other races as well to use Hand to Hand. And you can hear, um, I guess, all these people reacting to necromancy. And that is another mod that is in this game where uh, the NPCs do comment on necromancy. So we also have the Mundus Standing Stones, which have been overhauled. Although, I do have the Mage Stone for this character, and I'm really not seeing much of a difference. I mean, basically, I believe it gives you more magicka and allows you to learn, um, you know, magic 
or or gain experience faster uh, in in magic. Uh, we also have Scion, which is a complete uh, vampire overhaul, and Man Beast, which is a complete uh, werewolf overhaul. And what all of these things are saying in, in the description is that they try to balance the existing uh, gameplay mechanics. So, you know, if you're looking for a, a balanced mod list, then this may be what you're looking for. So, as far as the combat goes in this, um, it's slightly more difficult, they say. But it is still balanced. I mean, we will just come across balanced over and over again. It's technically designed for a third person. However, unlike some lists, first person combat will work perfectly fine. So the combat mods that are in here are Valhalla Combat, Ultimate Dodge Mod Reborn, Precision, Vanguard, which slows down bash behaviors for NPC actors and gives more telegraph and balance and allows you to time the, the dodge or move aside. There's also impactful blocking. There's jumping attack, so you can jump and attack at the same time. And Zupa, which will force you into third person and show an animation while using a potion. And that's one thing that I really do like about this um, mod list is that it is very animation heavy. So if I want to uh, drink a potion, I get an animation. And I really enjoy that about this mod. And there are other things too, like sneaking. The sneaking animation has been um, overhauled. It's very nice, actually, you know, kind of immersive and looks like... Uh, something that you might see in the real world but there's that and, um, you know there are many many more um, animations in the game all right so what else have we got here so the npcs can use potions there's enhanced enemy ai and there's also wait your turn it's a lightweight combat mod that adds circling behavior to your enemies and now group combat is more fair and fun for the player as enemies will no longer attack all at once. And that's very important. This is nothing like Skyrim and having all those enemies just rush you. Okay, so as far as magic goes, they have mysticism, which is a combat overhaul. It's designed to, again, balance existing spells and add powerful new magical effects to the game and the apothecary which is the alchemy overhaul alchemy plus is also in here and pilgrim which is a, a different religion system so this replaces winter sun um, haven't really had always oh, sold I think I've got something for you Let's see. So you're looking to become a merchant. Mama and I passed. I told them that one day I'd become the best trader in Skyrim. I met one of the caravan leaders, Madron. He said he'd help me get started if I could bring him a mammoth's tusk. Easier said than done. Okay. Well, maybe I can help you. And you can see they have this uh, the zoom in camera effect when you talk to people, which. You know, in this case, it doesn't always line up correctly, and it can be turned off. And if I were going to use this mod list uh, for a playthrough, I would definitely turn this off. So maybe I can help you. you do that? If you find one, I could teach you a thing or two about trading. Help you get a fair bargain in the future. Okay. Well, here's your mammoth tusk. Thank you. This should turn that old cat's gaze. Maybe I'll be able to become a caravaneer myself one day. As promised, let me show you a thing or two about bargaining. Don't want some shifty merchant giving you a raw trade. Farewell. Alright, well I lost my uh, minion here, so we won't have, have to listen to those uh, terrified comments from the uh, citizens here. As I have a dead body following me around. 
But um, yeah, this is white run. Uh, the other thing, it looks like they have better harvesting. So when you pick a flower, you get multiple of that flower. And you don't have to go around you know, picking endlessly, trying to make potions. I think that is a, a definite plus. All right, so the other major mods in here, Thaumaturgy, a complete overhaul of Skyrim's enchanting system, again, to balance it and add powerful new weapon and armor enchantments to the game. I haven't really encountered those yet. Um, one thing I have to say that I missed that I wish was in this mod pack is honed metal, where you can actually pay uh, blacksmiths and court wizards to enchant and and make weapons for you and you know improve your armor do all that stuff uh, that is is pretty much a must-have for me when i play these games because it really allows you to focus on other areas of um you know leveling up and improving your character so that you don't have to put all those perk points into smithing and uh enchanting at least not right away i mean that's something that you could do later on in the game after you have some uh, survivability and uh, offensive abilities to, to handle the enemies. And then you can worry about, you know, enchanting and smithing and whatnot. So, yeah, I really do miss that honed metal is not in here. All right, so... There's another mod in here called Forceful Tongue. It's a lightweight shout overhaul designed to, of course, balance in a sensible manner this underwhelming but cool mechanic. There is a dragon aspect overhaul, and that includes various tweaks to the dragon aspect power. Doesn't say what those tweaks are. Uh, Arachnomancy is a complete overhaul of Skyrim's Spider Scrolls crafting system and Oblivion is a complete overhaul of Skyrim's Atronach Forge and then there's, there's the relic Reliquary of Myth which includes balanced lore friendly and unique enchantments to nearly all Skyrim's most legendary and famous artifacts so there's also charged concentration Wow, it is pretty uh, dark and foggy out here. So that updates the casting time for concentration spells and their magic effects such that they now take a moment to charge before the spell begins. All right, and there has been some overhaul to the um, sneak system. There are new creatures that have been added among which omens of cinder, ash golems, their fire golems, and many more. Minotaurs, for those uh, who like those sorts of things, wraiths, ogres. Even saw some zombies in here, so uh, I really like the uh, diversity and selection of creatures. All right, well, that is uh, the majority of stuff that's uh, in here. There is also Mystic Condenser that lets you combine low-level potions and soul gems and poisons into their higher level counterparts. Huh. Who is this Necromancer? Is this somebody we killed? I don't remember. Right, so that uh, pretty much sums up what Nordic Souls does. I, I think it's a, a beautiful game. It seems to be very performance friendly. And now I think we'll just get into some uh, combat. We've been working on this uh, character. I've been playing uh, for a while. I think I'm at level 13. Yes, level 13. So we did start 
Dawn Guard, and uh, we're going to head to Dim Hollow Crypt and see how we do. All right, so as we head to Dim Hollow Crypt, this uh, mod list does also contain Legacy of the Dragonborn for uh, anyone that uh, is uh, looking for that. There are also a few new quests in here, such as Worm's Tooth, uh, Vigilant, Unslod, The Forgotten City, Undeath, The Grand Paladin, and there is the Missives board, which I uh, really like having in my mod list. Okay, we're almost there. Yes, the you know one of the other things that I really still want it's hard to find in, in a mod list is the uh, unread books glow that to me is a, a very important quality of life improvement that is uh, hard to find and I'm, I'm not gonna change and adulterate these these mod lists I've you know had issues already with with mod list, uh, you know, when you get into the higher levels and you've been saving over and over, they do tend to get a little bit corrupted, it seems. And uh, so, yeah, I, I, I want to limit the amount of crashes and stuff as possible. People die. And I simply tell them, how else are we going to fill our crypts with more Draugr? All right, so we, we've got uh, Argus with us, who is one of the, um, what is it, interesting NPCs, I believe. All right, well, I'm going to go into sneak mode now, and here we go into Dim Hollow. here already. <laughs> All right, Argus, get him. out my wolf, Argus. Hmm, I just don't have the magic, do I? All right, let's try... And 
I was going to say that uh, this mod list doesn't seem to be that difficult, but this is a uh, quest I haven't tried before. And it does seem to be a bit tough. All right, let's go ahead with our... It seems like the flame atronach works better. Is it down already? And I've got no magic left? Wow, this is great. Is that you, Argus? Look out! Your blood calls As you can see, the combat is a bit uh, tough and intense for a level 13 character. And the default um, difficulty when I install the mod pack is Adept. If we're struggling just to get through this opening area, I doubt we would complete this mission uh, at this level with the spells and things that I have. So anyway, this is a look at uh, Nordic Souls. Um, I would recommend this if you're not looking for something that is really heavily modded and changed. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. The, the overhauls, the visual gameplay overhauls, it's performance friendly. Uh, you know, that has a lot of, uh, I guess, of the popular mods. I mean, combat has been overhauled. It's uh, really, I'd say, a great looking mod and something to definitely consider. All right. Well, until next time.